All right, Jimmy, what do you got for me? It, it just dawned on me. That took me almost an hour to finish that level, and there's four more of them. Like, what ungodly hell is in store for me? All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's go right into the next level. Oh, it's Jimmy's house. This might end up being better than the fucking giant amusement park. You know, these ion signatures can mean only one thing. Aliens! They must have kept their parents' last <laughs> night while we were on the planet Retroland. Come on, boy. Oh. You've got to tell everyone about what really oh, happened. Oh, no! Oh, my God. That was so fucking funny. Like, Jesus Christ, these signatures are insane oh, can only mean one thing it's gotta be aliens <laughs> like oh jimmy oh you you very good boy i'm gonna go beat the shit out of this plant oh. death death and destruction for you monster what the fuck uh you know this wouldn't be so ungodly disorienting if I could just control the camera. Like, if I could see where I'm going, this would be infinitely better. What the what? What the fuck are those? I had to pause. I had to pause. This game, guys, this fucking game. Ah, oh, come here, you fucking ant bastards. I'm gonna save the planet. If this just turned into Earth Defense Force. I'm not even joking. And all I have to do to kill them is just mash the B button until they go away. Whoever designed this game deserves a fucking reward. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Never mind. I take that back. I take that back. I need to collect three parts of my rocket ship in order to fix it. So... Remember earlier when I said this game is the definition of collectathon? Um, they're taking it very literally. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and uh, find these rocket ship parts and beat the living snot out of whoever stole them. That sounds fun, right? I'm going to tell your parents that you snuck out last night. That we <gasps> as you think. Both of our parents have been abducted. God damn. Who Sorry, sorry, I literally got up and left during that dialogue scene. I went and checked the mail. That's how enthralled by this game I am. Uh, I see a part of the ship on top of the, on top of the shack. How do I, how do I get up there? What the, what, what the fuck? Get the hell out of here. Aliens, aliens. What the fuck just happened? I'm so confused by this game. There's another one around here. There they are! Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Uh, fortunately for me, they are piss easy to kill. My dog turned into a pogo stick. I know how to get the ship part now. It's pretty easy in the hindsight. I don't think the- I, I literally don't think the aliens can hurt me, uh, on this pogo stick. Because I am A, too fast, and B, jump way too high for them to catch me. I think I just broke the game, guys. Pogo stick, Pogo stick is broken AF. No worries, little cowpoke. We'll get our back. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, J Whatever you say, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, I can go in the house. All right. I was like, wait, the door's not opening. Can I not, can I not go in the house? Because I kind of want to go in the house. All right, you mess with my planet. You mess with my fucking back. Come here, you little pre- Jesus Christ, that was a one-hit kill. I literally destroyed that thing. Oh my god. What? You know, I feel like if I were a six-year-old kid again back in the year 2001, which I was, uh, getting the chance to walk around Jimmy's house and actually interact with stuff would probably be, like, the coolest thing ever. Um, unfortunately, nowadays, it really isn't. Because this game is actual ass. What the fuck? Whoa! That thing was like super armored. Oh, and I literally, I stole its innards and I'm gonna use it to repair my ship. Man, the Jimmy Neutron lore is even darker than Dark Souls. <laughs> Hi Sheen, uh, do you notice there's an alien over there? D did you notice that at all? Yeah, don't worry, I'll kill it for you, buddy, no worries. Aliens? 
What are you talking about? He... I just had an eating contest with that same oh? kid in the kitchen. No oh shit. my god! No, he no, literally no, 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 had no, no idea no, that there was an alien that. right behind him! We don't deserve Sheen. <laughs> Alright, got this fucking thing, I guess. What the hell does this do? <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh my god. What does this thing do? <laughs> Merciful, sweet Jesus. Oh. Oh. F I'm not even joking when I say, does it kill things? Oh my God, it does kill things. Why was he giant? Is it a gigantification ray? I think it is. Oh my, oh my sweet Jesus. That was brutal. A weapon as brutal as this that makes things expand to the point where they literally explode has a stupid fucking childish noise like this game is for a certain type of smart like i don't even have all the parts yet where's the last part all right i got a question um where the hell's the last part? Maybe the last part is back in the clubhouse. I'm gonna go back in there and check. And yeah, now that I think about it, I didn't go this way. So I'm gonna go this way and see what happens. Oh, fuck, fuck. This turned into a horror game. Holy God. Like this, tur this turned into like fucking Resident Evil 7 or something. Like, holy shit. Okay, what the hell is this thing? Why do they all make a fucking fart noise? Is it a shrink ray? I think it's a shrink ray. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work well against enemies that are on the ceiling. Uh, who would have fucking thought, right? I don't even have to fight these fucking ants, so I'm not even gonna bother. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, I just lost, like, three lives in a row because I kept trying to fight ants. Um, I've learned my lesson. I'm not gonna try and fight the ants. <laughs> Can someone tell me why there's a car etched on the wall of this giant ant hill? Like... Does this have an ulterior purpose, or is it just there? Hopefully, this will be the kind of game where there are a bunch of questions posed throughout the game, and in the very last act, in a very epic fashion, all the answers are revealed. Oh yeah, there's there's the last part. It was in the giant anthill that's in the middle of my fucking laboratory for some goddamn reason. I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm just gonna fix my fucking ship. Well, we can't fit everyone into just one rocket ship, Jimmy. You know, you're right, Carl. Carl's being the logical more. one here. The the like, he's Jimmy Neutron boy see. genius, but Carl it. is the real genius here. Like, Carl is the common sense master. Okay, I really hope. Oh my god, Carl! Are you- Oh, are you, are you okay? Carl just got fucking murked, dude! So as I was saying before, poor Carl got horrendously burned. Like, he's still in the hospital right now. Like, I really hope, like, at least once in this game, Jimmy says, got a blast. Or brain blast, or something of that matter. Because, I mean, it's fucking Jimmy Neutron, right? You can't, you can't go an entire Jimmy Neutron game without him spouting some bullshit catchphrase like that. Like, it is actually a sin against the Jimmy Neutron Lords. Are we just straight up in space now? I th we are just straight up in space now, like we are so on some weird fucking planet. And fucking Nick has a dragon? I think that's a rocket ship, but it's just fucking hilarious. <laughs> you see, normal ass Nick just chilling there, reading his poetry or whatever, and then there's just a what looks like a Stuffed dragon corpse right next to him. <laughs> oh man, like this game is terrible. Fucking don't even think twice about it. This game is awful, but I'm really happy that it's getting to that so good it's bad territory because that makes this so much better. All right, I guess I gotta go find the kids or whatever. Um, hopefully they're not dead and having their brains sucked out by aliens, because that would really suck. Did you see, did you see that expert jump I just did? Uh, ignore that one. 
ignore that one. <laughs> but remember the first one? Hell, replay that back for me. Also, I wanted to clarify, sorry if the footage looks a little choppy. Uh, the game is running at 60 frames on my emulation, but I'm recording this on OBS, and for some reason, it says it's recording 60 frames, but it looks undeniably choppy. So if the footage actually turns out that way, uh, I apologize. Okay, so it turns out there's this entirely other area over here that I just had no idea existed. I honestly thought I was stuck because I was like, how do I get to that fucking thing over there? Oh, oh, what's happening here? What the hell is going on? The sh- Is this a- Is he running a simulation? Is that what's happening here? Because I'm like, the ship's clearly busted. Like, what's the point of getting in the ship? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're gonna run a simulation real quick. What is the point of these sections? Because the one in the amusement park was completely optional. I thought it was mandatory for a second because I couldn't find any of the other gifts. So I thought maybe I had to do it. Um, but no, that one turned out to be completely optional. So what's the purpose of this one? Did the developers just want to throw in like a fun little mini game just to just as a pace breaker? Is that what happened here? Because uh, I don't know if they told anyone, but this isn't very good. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with this. <laughs> the loading screen helped me out, actually, because it showed me, hey, there's some platforms over there that you can get to. Maybe that'll help. If only I could control the camera and actually see what I'm jumping on. That would be what? Uh, excuse me? Doggo, <laughs> I kinda need your help. I was scared of these guys for a second, because they got armor and fucking uh, pickaxes, but no, they're just, they're just as piss easy as all the rest of the enemies. Oh, I think this is a skateboard section. Oh, it's a skateboard section. Here we fucking go. Does it have multiple paths because I'll find different kids at the end of each path? That would be pretty interesting. I don't know if the game designers were smart enough to implement that, but I guess we'll find out in a few minutes. Uh, oh, right. oh, there's Carl. See, I was right. What? Who would have thought? Man, kudos to you guys. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty hard to think of stuff stuff like that. So, uh, kudos go out to you for actually making something decent. All right, Carl, let's get the uh, hell out of no here. Time for charades. Oh, what? Jimmy? Jimmy? Is that really you? Jimmy. I can't see a thing without my glasses. What an oh, asshole. Jimmy. Like, all right, Jimmy? Uh, I hate to I hate to break it to you, right? You're kind of a douche. Like, you know damn well Carl can't see without his glasses. And you're like, Carl, this is no time for charades. Oh my God, Jimmy. It's a wonder you even have friends. Oh, okay, the guy, I thought, all right, hear me out. <laughs> I thought those geysers were poisonous. So I openly avoided them. But, as it turns out, they actually propel you upwards. Alright, I just ragged on the game designers for making this terrible game. Uh, turns out I was the fool. Hi, Cindy! Yes, I guess I'm lucky you came along, Jimmy. Thanks. Yeah, you better be fucking thankful, you bitch. I have a feeling that there are more kids to save. And I also have a feeling that I didn't find Carl's glasses. <laughs> I have a feeling by the end of this level, I'm going to absolutely fucking hate it because this is just backtracking. This is this is pure backtracking. They don't even try to hide the fact that it's backtracking. It's like, oh, you went to this one section and found this thing. You're all the you're all the way back at the beginning. Uh, start all over, I guess. I guess I'm gonna try this uh, snowboarding section again and see where else I can get this time. I'm going to the right this time. See what, um, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa,
This game is painfully boring. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I am currently playing it. You can see that I am currently playing it. And I am bored out of my fucking mind. I'm doing these things. I'm jumping around. I'm trying to get these kids. And I'm just like, what's the point of any of this? It looks like utter ass. The controls are fine, but there's nothing about the gameplay that really makes it scream, you must play this game. I've been playing this game for almost an hour and a half, and honestly, I kind of want to stop. But I'm determined, and don't worry, this isn't the only Jimmy Neutron game we're going to play on this channel. I'm going to play all of them. But you know, as the very first one, I can understand that, you know, it's not as good as the games that probably come later. At the same time, this is also just reinforcing the fact that movie tie-in games are just kind of dog shit. Because this is a, this is a movie tie-in game, and who would have thought? It's kind of dog shit. <laughs> like, sure, it's a good game to make fun of and meme about, uh, but in terms of an actual game that I want to play, no thanks. Now maybe I can find Rose. You Already can taken care of. <laughs> Remember when Carl said I would have to find a weird alien that took his glasses? Why do I have the feeling that's the alien? <laughs> Don't worry, I actually figured this out like immediately after I just died. I gotta throw these guys in there and he's gonna fucking choke on them. Eat it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he literally just exploded. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Neutron, boy murderer, am I right? Turns out that wasn't the alien with Carl's glasses. It was literally right here. Well, look at that. We found everyone. In record time, might I add. Their mouths don't even move. Like he is speaking words and nothing is happening. Also, why does it look like he's fucking melting? What kind of budget did they have for this game? Um, if it was a low one, it kinda shows. Okay, it's kinda really disorienting that after every level you come back here. Cause it's like, we were just in space? Like, how the hell did we get back here so quickly? But the more I play this game, the more I realize that if you think about it, you're gonna regret it. So I'm just gonna go to the next level. Are you still picking up the Ion Trail, Goddard? The Being dog's Goddard name is Goddard. That is the last thing I expected. <laughs> the trail stopped. It's been so fucking long since I've seen Jimmy Neutron. I ignore that. It's been so fucking long since I've seen anything related to Jimmy Neutron that I actually forgot the dog's name. And let me tell you, after years of not experiencing anything related to this fucking franchise, Goddard was not the answer that I was expecting. <laughs> like, I thought maybe his name was Rex or something like that. Don't ask me why. But clearly, that wasn't the case. Oh, look at me. I'm surfing on these fucking asteroids. For as much shit as I've given this game, that's actually kind of cool. Like, if I was a six-year-old playing this game, I probably would have popped for that shit. I have a feeling that this entire level is just this skateboarding section. Like, it hasn't given me any reason to suspect that it isn't. I legit think that was the entire level. <laughs> and the next screen will prove me wrong. Yep. I legit thought the way that was going, that that was literally going to be the entire level. And honestly, at this point, I wouldn't actually mind an entire skateboarding level in this game. Because that means it, I wouldn't have to play this shit. <laughs> what are these egg things? Oh, okay, they just hold atoms in them. Or baseball bats. You know, they could hold both. Oh my God, actual perilous platforming. Perilous platforming returns, oh my god! And it wasn't actually that perilous. You know, I wouldn't put it past this game to be completely honest with you. This game is weird because uh, not only is it terrible, trust me it is, um, but it's got this weird difficulty spike right at the very beginning. Like it falls into the trap that a lot of games from this era did, where it just kind of throws you into this big open environment and it's like, yeah, find this shit. Like, it gives you no context, no guidance, doesn't tell you where to go to find these things. It's just like, yeah, find them. And a lot of games from this era fall into that trap. Unfortunately, Jimmy Neutron is no exception. But every level after that has been a fucking breeze. Like, I've been fucking blasting through these goddamn levels. To give you, to, to give you some clarification, it took me 50 minutes to get through that first level. 
I am now an hour and a half into this recording, and I am on the fourth. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this one's not going to be very long. So, why is there this weird, oddly placed difficulty spike right at the very beginning? And then the rest of the game is a fucking cakewalk. And hey, don't worry, Jimmy Neutron's up to the plate. He's got his signature atom alloy bat. He's going to knock these aliens into the next stratosphere. I thought... Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought for sure I would be able to make that jump before the platform left. Um, don't be like me, kids. <laughs> be patient and deliberate with your jumps, and you will be absolutely fine. What? There we go. Okay, we made it on this one. No worries. We've got this. Let's go. <laughs> okay, um, this is getting pretty perilous, I'm not gonna lie. Look at these giant cogs that I'm spinning on. Look at how perilous this is! <laughs> you know, I take everything I said back about the difficulty spike. This is quite possibly the hardest game I have ever played in my entire life. Oh my god. Watch out everyone, Jimmy's gone fucking crazy. He found the nuclear codes. Watch out, he's gonna start World War Three. Oh no! Um, are you gonna, are you gonna move? Oh, it was an enemy thing. I had to beat all the enemies before the platform. Man, man, oh man, oh man. Do any of you have gas cans? Cause there was that one enemy I beat at the beginning that had a gas can and um, I haven't found another one since. Ah, shit. Oh, oh. Oh God. Oh, I saw my life flash before my eyes. Who puts an invisible wall there? Oh, this guy's got a fucking shovel. Uh, still piss easy to beat, but he did have a shovel. Oh, oh, did you see what I saw over there? I think we finally found another gas can, boys. So, uh, I'm gonna have to talk to you there. I need that gas can. All right, we only have one more to find. And I assume, based on what's happened in this level, they're going to introduce a new enemy type with a different weapon, and then we're going to have to fight one of those to get the final gas can. That's my guess. Uh, we'll see if the game is smart enough to do that. I'm not sure, actually. All I know is that I'm going on a fucking rampage with this baseball bat, and it's kind of awesome. Oh, look, it's the ball. <laughs> oh, why am I all the way back here? That's, that's so unfair. Okay, it took way too long to get back to this point, but as I was gonna say, look, it's the return of the giant cogs. I can't, I can't even see what's happening. I can't, I can't even. Oh my God, I don't wanna go all the way back there. Like you can see these camera angles, right? Like I'm not crazy. This is just fucking preposterous. Oh my God, no. <laughs> I feel so disappointed in myself, I think is the right term to use here. But again, like I was saying earlier, I think this game would be like 10 times better if I could control some sort of camera. Because you saw this fucking bullshit. All right, third time's a charm. Here we go, boys. Make it skill. <laughs> Oh, I actually got, I think I got crushed. Did you hear Jimmy's next snap? Because I think I did. You know, they could at least put a new checkpoint here so you don't have to do that entire section every time you die. But that's just me. I'm not a game designer or anything, but. All right, this time I'm gonna do it. This time it's gonna be the one. And whoa, fucking. Finally, I will apologize to everyone right now. That took an ungodly amount of time for no real reason. <laughs> oh, oh, hello there, sir. I'm gonna have to steal that from you. Good God, Jimmy. Oh my God, Jimmy Neutron boy genius. More like Jimmy Neutron God of Destruction because these kills are brutal. Okay, now that this is done, it begs the question, what do I fucking do with these goddamn gas cans? All right, I guess I'll see how this goes. Oh, that was actually easier than I thought it would be. Huh? Very strange. I'm just, I'm just gonna say fuck it and just go. Okay, I can't. <laughs> 
I was just gonna say fuck it and start going right up the fucking tower. I actually have no idea what's going on anymore. There's like three different paths that all lead somewhere else. Like, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing at this point. Oh, I found a button. What does the button do? Oh, it makes the things move. Oh, and it opened the other side. All right. All right, game. I guess I'll play along for the time being. What the fuck is even going on anymore? I have zero idea. All I know is that if I go back into the middle, I might be able to finally finish this level. Maybe. Oh? Oh, what's going on over there? Cindy? Am I saving Cindy from the aliens? Is this like what happened in that one episode of Jimmy Neutron on Nickelodeon? I don't actually know if that was an episode of Jimmy Neutron, so. Huh. Hmm, this is interesting. All right, I think I have to bring one of these guys with me. This looks so wholesome, oh my God. Huh, that didn't seem to work. <laughs> All right. Don't fucking tell me. Now, the real question is, do I have to do the whole level over again? Because uh, if that's the case, I'm quitting right the fuck now. Are you still picking up the Ion Trail, Goddard? Then we must be getting closer to finding those aliens. The trail stops here? <sighs> <laughs> I'll see you next time, folks.